The Thunderhawk speedily got to Vale's landing pads. John with Pira, and RWBY along with a tactical squad walks out. Sergeant Semnai, Marine squad deployed. Pira. So what should we do first? Blake. We need to check up on someone I know. John. All right, we have time. She leads them to Tuxin's bookstore where she usually gets her books. The bell chimes as Blake enters the establishment. Blake. Tuxin? Tuxin. Oh, Blake, how are you? Are you here for the usual? Blake. No, I came here to warn you that the Fong knows where you are and are tying up loose ends. Tuxin. How? I covered my tracks. Blake. Adam is relentless. He will send two people to deal with you. You need to leave town now, or at least lay low until they are dealt with. Tuxin. I know I should ask, but I trust you, Blake. Stay safe yourself. You're also a defector in their eyes. Blake nods as Tuxin goes to his room to grab the essentials. She leaves and puts on the closed sign, so no one bothers him as he makes his getaway. John, you okay? Blake. Yeah, I hope Tuxin makes it out of this mess. John. That's another fate we changed. Ruby. Let's keep going and oh. Weiss, look out. Someone crashes on top of Weiss as they look at a familiar ginger. Penny. Oh, hello. Ruby. E. Um, who are you? Feigning ignorance. Penny. Salutations. My name's Penny. And you are? Ruby. I'm... She didn't get to finish as a blonde ruffian pushed her aside as he ran through the group as a couple of officers were running after him. He winked at Blake, who just turned her head and closed her eyes. The chase went on as Ruby gathers herself. Ruby. Hi, my name is Ruby. Penny. Oh, that is sensational. Weiss. We'll leave you with your friend, Ruby. We have to go check that out. Adding to what happened before. Penny. Oh, I'm a friend. Ruby. Why, yes, Penny, you can be our friend. Yong nods to John. Blake and Weiss, who went to scout the docks while Ruby and Yong Ribu friends their closest friend in the past Penny. The tactical squad follows their lead as they watched every viewpoint. Validox. Weiss. Do you remember I made an ass of myself around here? Blake, giggle idon. And I was also an absolute moron at the same moment. John, I'm glad you two have made strides with your relationship. Weiss, yeah, it was surreal to me that I was just as racist as jackass. John, you sure developed a foul mouth for a lady. Weiss, well, excuse me, Prince. I learned it from all of you. John, oops. Blake just shakes her head. They then booked rooms near the docks to wait for one day like what Blake did. Blake, so you have a plan? John, we need to capture Roman. He has details about their plans. And like you did, we need to crash in the middle of their operation to draw their attention. Blake, I see. I'll hold him at face stabbing range and you and the rest will close in and cut off their escape. John, oh, you know me well. Blake, please all of us know you too well if you get what I mean. Weiss, geez, are you horny right now, Blake? We can do that at a more later time. Blake, cough. Weiss, are your sons okay just standing outside? John, we can live with no sleep for months, Weiss. I know the strength of my sons. They nod as Blake's scroll rang, and she answered. Blake, Ruby and Yang booked a room, and Penny joined them to have a sleepover. Weiss. Text them to wait, and we'll call them to join us on the strike tomorrow. Blake coordinated with Ruby and Yang about the plans as the night arrives, and they all went to sleep. The next day, docks. The first squad arrives and held their position on the roof. Blake was watching the docks closely. Then Brother Sergeant Semni detected something. He pointed his bolt rifle at it as John ordered him to hold fire. John, what is it, Brother Sergeant? Semni, we are being watched. Blake, I know who it is. Show yourself, or I'm gonna shoot you where the sun don't shine. It was a familiar blonde monkey ruffian. Weiss, 
I question why he is so obsessed with following you to the ends of Remnant. Blake, seriously, he followed me home like a stray cat. John, ain't that kind of ironic. Blake gave him a look as he raised both his hands and surrendered. The Space Marines were still awkward how their gene father basically found a mate in his humble life. Son, uh, I wanted to help out. Blake, unlikely. They were interrupted by an annoying voice. Roman, come one get. We don't have all day you mutts. Blake grinds her teeth as she looks to John who nods as he stands and gave his son's instructions. Weiss created glyphs at the exit points. The Marines nod at the battle plan and jumps off to each corner to close in the gap. Blake lands in front of Roman as she aimed Gamble Shroud's blade at his throat. Romano, we have another would-be hero, like Little Red. Blake, I'm taking you in alive. In what condition is up to you? One piece or pieces. Roman saw the killing intent to her face and knew it wasn't a bluff. Whose cereal did his piss in to deserve this? Oh, he doesn't know his actions help start the end of the world, so he deserves all of the hostility he's going to be receiving. He looks to the white fan grunts who dropped everything they did and began creeping up to Blake who raised her hand which puzzled them. And so it begins.